The Ben Affleck Batman movie would have seen Deathstroke as the main antagonist, as you see at the end of the Justice League, the Zack Snyder Justice League, let's say, the real Justice League. We find out that Lex Luthor knows the identity of the Batman and offers that information to Slade Wilson, and Slade Wilson was then set to go on a warpath, killing everyone associated with Bruce Wayne. Hi everyone, this is James, and you're watching Digital Charcuterie. Special shout out to all of our new subscribers over the past little while. And if you haven't subscribed, give us a subscribe, give us a like, recommend it, whatever you want to do. Keith Christensen is back at it with images. He is posting on his social media platforms on Instagram of his death stroke. And I've got to tell you, it looks phenomenal. It is in the same... The thing I love about it, I'm going to just rewind for a second. The thing I love the most about this is that it is absolutely in the same world as this Ben Affleck suit. Of course, you know, you'd say, well, why wouldn't it be blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's very easy to go in one direction, another direction. But they're keeping these practical. It's almost, it's it's similar, you know, to the Batman movie we got with Riddler and Batman in that they're both kind of mirror images of each other in a way whereas this one they both of these characters are coming from this practical standpoint what makes the most sense for them to wear in their missions i completely love the look and design of it look at all the weapons he has his belt his armor it's very tactical very stealthy and that helmet let's just zoom right in on that that is a tremendous design right there it's comic accurate but also separate from the comics and very very fun and very grounded in a more reality almost a little bit more real than the Zack Snyder version of the character not that he wasn't too grounded in Justice League it's just that he was a bit more bulky in that one this one's a lot slender looking which will really let Joe Manganiello really get a hold of the character and we can really see that these suits this one next to the Batman one would allow for some epic hand-to-hand Combat. Just exquisite stuff right here. Love the design. Love the character of it. The, it's the attention to detail that Keith Christensen brings to these designs. If you look back at his Doom stuff, he's just phenomenal at what he does. Look at the pants. The camo pants giving a glimpse to the character's backstory and his jacket. Very, looks, reminds me of, uh, of Snake Eyes from G.I. <laughs> Joe a little bit. Actually nicer looking. But it is ammo on the arms as well if you zoom in. So he is wearing camo through it all and then he's got his weapon and his armor which i'm curious if that would be bulletproof or not i'm curious if his helmet would also be bulletproof it's a variation of the one that we do see in Zack snyder's justice league again i think this one is a little bit more tactical a little bit more practical uh it allows for for the character to have some more movement i i would say i just it it's really cool and of course we see at the end of that justice league movie we get to see the awesomeness that is the nightmare sequence and whether or not that'll ever play out we will have to wait and see but the merger is coming the shifting of gears is upon us shazam and black adam are coming out at a one-two punch you're wondering if that's done for a specific reason if people are going to be excited for black adam and they're going to want to go immediately to see shazam word around the word out is that shazam is testing right now or it is in screening. They're very close to being complete that one. So that's exciting. The Flash being moved to June is curious about whether or not they will be reinserting Ben Affleck's Batman into that. If they do, this is something I would absolutely love to see. We know that this character was originally in a ver version of James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. And of course, he ended up being Bloodsport in that one and not Deathstroke, which I am fine with. I love Bloodsport in that movie. And I would love to see Deathstroke coming back. I know that... Joe Manganiello doesn't believe that it will be happening, but never say never. In fact, if you go back somewhat recently to February 28th of this very year, he changed his profile picture to this very hypnotic looking version of him as Deathstroke, as Slade Wilson. But I say hypnotic, it's not the picture itself, it's just it's more the coloring of it. And you know, you gotta think that with him changing his profile picture to this character that we all know he loves. He came back, he crushed it in Zack Snyder's Suicide Squad in the Nightmare scene. I absolutely love that. Would love to see that going forward, especially after what he would potentially do in the Batman solo film. Him and the Joker, just unbelievable. Like, that whole concept from Zack Snyder was something that I would be all in on, on watching. But you wonder though, he's posting this here. Keith Christensen is posting his stuff over here. The art is all upon us. It's coming up faster than we can keep up with so what does this all mean it could mean nothing again this i said this in the ben affleck 
Batman video. This could just be Keith Christensen realizing that his time as the concept artist for these films has come and gone, and this is, you know, it's not going to happen. It's not going to come to fruition. And so he's just posting this for fun. Or who knows? Maybe it means it's something a little bit more, and maybe we are one step closer to the Snyderverse and to Ben Affleck's Batman. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.